I was emailing a guy back, um, well, back and forth, uh, who lives in Eau Claire, and he's setting up what he calls the Church of Atheism. Mm -hmm. And what he's trying to do is to get atheism set up, recognized by the state as a religion, mm -hmm. um, listing off, you know, the benefits of establishing atheism as a religion is manifold, and he lists, lists off all these different things here. And I keep, you know, I emailed him back saying why it's wrong, whatever. Um, I, I was kind of wondering what your take on that was. Okay. You want to go first? Or I you? think a church of atheism is phenomenally stupid. Yeah, me too. Um, and, and here's the thing. Atheism, any belief that you have, you, you already have freedom of thought, but atheism has already get, got First Amendment protection. Um, you don't... There, there is no tenets, no dogma, no rituals, no nothing. There's nothing about it that would qualify as a church status. Now, if all you're saying is that uh, we want to create a church, a social place of gathering, where like-minded people can come to talk, like the North Texas Church of Free Thought, for example, okay, great. I'm probably not going to be that keen on participating, and it's not just because I have a knee-jerk response to the word church. Uh, I just don't see the need for that. I mean, the ACA, we have get-togethers. We're going to eventually have a building. Um, we're going to be doing and accomplishing, and as a matter of fact, we've probably done and accomplished as much or more than any of these uh, individual churches of atheism or free thought uh, have done um, outside of having a building with a regular place for people to meet. But why put the church label on it? It very much reminds me of when uh, people do the God is love argument. That's all I mean. I'm just saying love exists, and I'm going to call it God. Well, great, you know. My hangnail exists, and I can call it God, but it, it is useless to do so. There's already a word for love. It's love. There's already a word for God. It's God. The, if, when, we, when, we, when we misuse terms like that, we take away the meaning of both of them. And, and while I support the fact that they are, they are out to uh, push for equality, um, they're not going to get it even if they get established as a religion in that state. Um, this is a bigger issue than just the law. This is about changing people's perceptions. This is about eliminating years and years of misinformation spewed from pulpits, pundits, and politicians. Um, we need to do a lot of things Establishing a church of atheism, to me, is the wrong direction. I, 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 I wish I could be supportive of it. I, I'm supportive of, I think, the goals that they have in mind. I just can't possibly get behind a church of atheism, and that's me. Mm -hmm. We're out of time. Okay. Thanks a lot, Carl. All right, thank you very much. Bye. Um, I just banned Mr. No Electrons on here. You did? Yeah. Why? Well, he was being a jerk. Was so, he? Yeah. He's well... Spam the board to get banned, guys. Uh, yeah. Um, I, I wanted to ask you for a big favor. Mm -hmm. um, if I ever become a theist, make me go in and get a CT scan, because I might have a brain tumor. You might. Okay. Also, there was some interesting news that came out. Uh, one of the journals published, uh, um, gosh, I don't have the information, but you can look it up, um, that when they did fMRIs on people making decisions about how to invest mm -hmm. their money, and uh, when they had to make the decision on their own, there was a particular part of the brain that was active that's involved in decision making. Yeah. And when they had the uh, counsel of a financial advisor, mm -hmm. that part of the brain was pretty much dormant. Yeah. Which means that when you think you have information from an authority, you turn your thought-making processes off. That's kind of a big thing to begin to understand. Uh, you know, I'm not, yeah. I'm not going to extend this to say, aha, we've discovered, you know, this is something <laughs> we already knew. We, every con man and magician has known this since the dawn of time. Anybody who's ever lied to somebody and got them to believe them has known this. If I make this sound convincing and if I put on an air of authority, guess what? You stop thinking in critically. You stop 
processing this and go, well, I guess it must be true. And it's actually a good thing. Um, we've talked about this before, that children are reliant upon their parents. Right. They, they see their parent as the authority and this saves a lot of uh, problems. It's just one of those things where something really, really good has a really bad side effect, just like, well, I don't know, uh, sugar. Yeah. Which, you know, I really should hey. stop eating, but I like sugar too much. Thankfully, I have meds. <laughs>